Welcome to the Virtual Fracture Clinic, an innovative way of managing acute orthopaedic injuries. My name is Lucy Arnott and I am an extended scope physiotherapist. The Virtual Fracture Clinic has successfully managed thousands of patients using virtual consultations and a shared care approach. Our objective is to provide you with high quality information so that you can best manage your injury and reduce the need of coming into hospital. We have designed this protocol as evidence suggests that patients typically only retain 10% of the information given to them in the traditional clinic setting. We understand that having an injury has a significant impact on your life, so I've designed this video series to explain to you the type of injury that you've sustained and to guide you through your rehabilitation and management from the comfort of your own home. Hi, I'm James. I'm an orthopaedic consultant and I regularly manage patients with your type of injury. I'm here to guide you through the details of your injury, the treatment required, and give you your recovery plan. You have sustained a subtle, undisplaced fracture to your midfoot, as demonstrated now on the screen. This is a common injury, and it will heal itself naturally with the passage of time. This normally takes approximately six weeks. Pain and swelling are present in the early stages and can be present for three to six months. You may need to take painkillers or anti-inflammatories, especially in the early stages. The swelling is often worse at the end of the day, and elevating it will help. Guidance on further initial management will be covered by Lucy later. You can walk on your foot as the pain allows, but you may find it easier to walk on your heel, especially in the early stages. You will have been provided with a boot, however, this is for your comfort only and is not needed to aid the healing. This should be worn for the first three weeks after which you should wean yourself into your normal shoes. We do not routinely follow up patients with this type of injury. If however after three months you're still experiencing significant pain and swelling, then please do not hesitate to contact us for a further consultation. We would also like you to contact us if you're experiencing significant pain or symptoms away from the site of the injury. One of the only things we know that can slow down healing is smoking. If you do smoke, it would be advisable to stop, at least for the duration of the healing process. Further information on how to stop smoking can be found on the NHS Smoke Free website or be obtained from your GP. You can start driving again when you can comfortably perform an emergency stop and use the clutch. Obviously you can't drive if you're still being managed in a boot unless it's your left leg and you've got an automatic car. You can return to work when you feel comfortable and sports can be resumed at six weeks. Bear in mind though that pain and swelling can be ongoing when you resume impact activities. I'm now going to hand you back to Lucy who will guide you through your rehabilitation. We're now going to show you a few exercises which will help you to recover from your lower limb injury. The first phase of your rehabilitation is about managing your swelling and acute pain. A cold pack or frozen peas wrapped in a tea towel can provide short term pain relief and reduce your swelling. Apply this to the sore area for up to 15 minutes every few hours ensuring that the ice is never in direct contact with the skin. Try to rest the foot for the first 24 to 72 hours to allow the early stages of healing to begin. Raise your ankle above the level of your hips to reduce the swelling. It's really important to do range of movement exercises for your ankle to reduce the stiffness and to reduce the risk of developing a blood clot. These simple exercises will help you to move your foot in all of its natural anatomical positions. The first movement is to move your foot in an upwards and downwards position, making sure that you get a stretch at the end of each position. The next exercise is to move your foot from side to side. And the last is to do circular movements with your foot. This can be done in both a clockwise and anti-clockwise position. I would advise to do these exercises for a total of one and a half minutes, approximately four to five times each day. Finally, it is really important to try and put as much weight through your foot as early on as possible. Walking has been shown to increase the rate of healing and reduce the time it takes you to recover from your injury. So try to walk as naturally as possible as early as your pain allows. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any further questions with regards to your injury or your rehabilitation, please do not hesitate to contact us. 
Because we value your opinion, in the future we may ask you for some patient satisfaction information. We would really appreciate if you could let us know how you found this service so that we can help model it for future patients.